So here's the second half of that uh, interview with with Lauren uh, Duca from Teen Vogue, where Tucker clearly knows he's losing the argument. And, you know, the last, uh, what is it, is it last uh, patriotism, the last refuge of a scoundrel? Yes. Well, uh, credentialism is the last refuge of a, of a right-wing uh, talk show host who realizes he's just lost um, not only the debate on intellectual terms, but in terms of just optics. So I guess the point I'm making is you're drawing this kind of world where everyone who's not on your side no. is evil and that's is, not what I as said, you put even it, remotely. fair game. That's well, actually, not what, I what said. you said. Tucker, you said she's Tucker, called fair that's game not what even I though said. she smells good. Tucker, I did not say anybody who doesn't well, agree with okay. me is evil. Then I'm going to ask you again. What do you disagree with that she has said? What position that she holds do you disagree with? I disagree with her providing a surrogacy for her father based on an empowerment of women when that is an inherent disconnect between his Wait, campaign so, and so her beliefs. So you agree with her, but because she supported her dad, she I somehow never, I did not say game. I precisely what are you saying? aligned I'm, with I'm, her. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're, you're saying. You're what not, that she believes, Tucker, don't you believe? you're not trying to agree with what I'm saying. You're shouting over me every time I speak. It's, it's incredibly unprofessional. I'm asking you a simple question. You're not. Which is, you're actually being a partisan hack who is just attacking me oh, ad nauseum and not even allowing me to speak. Well, Tucker, I think you. we agree here. I think we agree here, right? No, I don't think we do. We both agree Lauren. that she didn't deserve to be attacked. I think it's appalling attacked. that some guy yelled at her on an airplane and you're and saying I said she's that no fair one, game. I very clearly and calmly said that no one deserves to be yelled at on a plane. I don't want to be yelled at. I don't want to yell at you on a plane. I'll yell at you here, but You're not saying on a plane. that to me because I'm confronting you about it, but on Twitter, on your Twitter feed where you scream, F you Donald Trump, eat feces Donald Trump, all this feces? kind of... Wait, what? I can't say the word you used as you well know. I, I, said, I, I said feces Donald Trump. That's what I said. You said eat in effect, human feces Tucker, on Twitter. Tucker, I can't, you know. Tucker, you are talking at this trivial, mundane level of argument. Okay. We're let agreeing. Me, let me Tucker, can okay. I ask you a question? Tucker, can let I please? Let me ask you no, to I'd account like to ask for you something question. that you wrote. No, Tucker, and, and in teen do Vogue. you or do you not agree that we deserve, as the American people, a level of transparency in terms of Ivanka's role? I think we need to take her seriously and that she's a positive role model Look, and Warren, admirable in a lot is, of ways, but that she still she, requires transparency she's in flying with what the kids on she represents in terms of having a government position or being I a businesswoman or being a mother. Okay, okay. So we do agree. I agree that anyone who's making decisions about how the federal government runs should have to answer questions Absolutely. about those decisions. Okay? I don't think you should hassle people because you disagree with them in public. And period. I didn't say you should. So, so we do. Your, here, hey, we agree. We agree. Here is yes. your description of the Trump administration. You wrote this piece in Teen Vogue, which I guess you write for. Oh, which you and guess you I said... write for? Yes, that's not fake news. That's real news. I write for, you <laughs> guess? Oh, you <laughs> guess, Tucker? You guess? That's well, really patronizing. I haven't, I haven't read Teen Vogue because I'm not a, a Teen Vogue. Well, you reader, have in here's... front of, your producers asked me if I wrote for Teen Vogue. You have my Teen Vogue article in front Here, of you. Here's I'm, what my you, name here's is Warren Duca, you, and I write for Teen wrote. Vogue. Well, got it. Here's what you wrote. Okay. The road ahead is now a pause it. Now look at look at look at. That he's is getting, amazing. He's getting he's he's turning red because he thought he could get away with this. I guess you write for Teen Vogue. Like like she just just appeared, like she broke into the studio and demanded to sit in that chair as opposed to Tucker Carlson saying this is going to juice my ratings because they know on Fox, there there it is. One of their macros, which is, they call in the business, to attack liberal women. It's literally one of their macros. There's nothing the Fox News viewer likes more than one of their male hosts in particular attacking liberal women. And just what they're not used to is someone, and frankly, you know, I'm I'm sort of shocked because I I, I do uh, I have on occasion I should say do media training for people, and she's just pulling him apart in a way that like you don't see people pull other people apart on TV. Continue getting cucked. There are unprecedented amounts of ugliness to untangle from deciding whether a president can be an admitted sexual predator to figuring out how to stop him from threatening the sovereignty of an entire religion. Yes. 
What does it mean to threaten the sovereignty of religion? What does that even mean? That means an entire agenda, a platform of based on banning Muslims, which is still available on his website. How does that threaten the sovereignty of religion? That's moronic, Lauren. You're a writer. How does that threaten the sovereignty of it? Pardon me well, for taking what, your words does, literally. Sorry, how does what threaten the sovereignty of it? How, Threatening to ban how does Muslims? Any, that threatens the sovereignty of it? Yes, that completely, that, that profiles based on the basis of religion and reduces people to their beliefs and dictates what they can and cannot publicly uh -huh. believe. That doesn't threaten the sovereignty of it. Um, so you, you okay. also accused him on Chelsea Handler's pause show, it, of course. Pause it, pause it. Now, now, here, what's awesome about this, okay, is that you literally have um, Tucker on Fox News, trying to argue the semantic use of sovereignty. Okay, I mean, that's it. That's what his argument is. Yes. But what he doesn't realize is that her use of it is accurate and just more sophisticated than he is. So he has entered into basically the deep end of the pool where none of his viewers can go anyways and getting drowned. Because she just there quite clearly made it clear. If you do not allow people to own their own religion because you're going to ban them if they're not, if they're of that religion, you are threatening the sovereignty of their ownership of that religion. Or, or I should say their ability to own that religion. Good. Committing a form of psychological abuse that makes the victim feel like they're crazy. Does Trump yes. make you feel like you're crazy? That's the impression I'm getting. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you calling me crazy? That's adorable. I'm, I'm asking That's you. You said so on cute. Chelsea Handler, he's committing psychological abuse on you. Uh, you believe that? On the American people. I believe the American people, Trump supporters, Hillary supporters, Jill Stein and her cousin, are in a victim of Trump's gaslighting. What I mean by that is that he frequently contradicts objective evidence, not that oh. he is abusing me personally. And I think you're smart enough to know that, aren't you, Tucker? I don't know. I just take your words at face value. Mm -hmm. So did you read the entire article? Psychological... I... I did. I also read Liam Payne is 100% certain One Direction will continue. Adriana yes. Grande rocked the most epic thigh-high boots at yeah. Jingle Bell and so Black team, China and Rob Kardashian. That... Went through the messiest breakup of 2016. Those are your other pieces. But I'm trying to get to what you're writing about Trump, taking have... a break from the thigh-high boots, and ask what you mean about him committing psychological See, abuse see, on you. No, pa pause it, pause it, pause it. Now, look, this is Donald Trump, I mean, not Donald Trump, uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, announcing to the world, I realize I've been humiliated here. And I'm going to do everything I can, knowing who my audience is, to att att attempt to humiliate um, my guest, who I've invited on, based upon stuff that is not even the argument that's here, just on who they are as a person. So uh, if she wanted to do the same, she could bring up all the stories off of the Daily Caller, which would be an embarrassment. An embarrassment. And I'm not even talking from political sense. I mean, we want to talk about th uh, thigh-high boots. I mean, the crap that, the, and I mean literally the crap. Like the low-end, star magazine, cheap, um, quasi, almost, you know, the, 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 the literature version of softcore porn that, that has bankrolled uh, the Daily Caller for years. It's a cesspool. And for this guy to be bringing up, like, you can't, you, you've just taken me to school. You've just drowned me in the deep end. But we should all know that it wasn't real because you wrote something about knee-high boots or whatever it is. Continue. Of Ariana Grande and her thigh-high boots oh, and still I'm just letting you know that I read politics. you a Teen Vogue I, as of today. And there, right. those things are not mutually exclusive. You know, it's it, now that you bring up Teen Vogue, we, we we treat young women like they don't have a right to a political <laughs> to a conversation, bunch of, like, dumb and like you can't be, you know, enjoy Kylie Jenner's Instagram and worry about the future God. of this country. And those uh. things are not mutually exclusive. So you know what? I did write about Ariana Grande, and I did write uh -huh. about the abusive, bigoted, those pieces were a little smarter than President your piece about threatening the, the sovereignty States. of a whole religion. All right, I got to go. You should stick to the thigh-high boots. You're
All right, so he completely failed there, but I and it's disgusting and embarrassing. But the other thing that was amazing about it to me is like I I understand you're of course he he brought that up to try to downgrade her because she just I, I agree I haven't seen to anybody. discredit actually uh, the last her. time I saw somebody get that destroyed like that on television was Tucker Carlson by John Stewart right exactly but the thing is is that if you even accepted his warped, stupid, nonsense logic that because you write about pop culture, you can't also write about politics, which would also like exclude some of the most pro- prominent writers from American literature, period, that makes his destruction even more embarrassing. He just said, you're an idiot. No one should take what you said seriously as a like post-game to her completely right destroying now, him. On the Daily Caller, burn it. 15 photos of women not wearing bras. <laughs> right now, watch 50 half naked women pole dance atop cars for officials' funeral. This is today. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri- subscribe.